Welcome to our tutorial on the while loop. Visual Basic supports several versions of loop statements. Loop statements work with comparison expressions in the same manner as if statements. But unlike the if statement, which executes a block of code only one time, a loop statement executes a block of code continuously until some criteria matches. At this point, and this point only, the loop will stop. Let's take a look at the while loop format and syntax in our code. These statements start and end the loop. Here's our comparison test, where something compares to something else. The block of code will continue looking for as long as the comparison test returns a true value. The number of lines of code that are executed below doesn't really matter to the loop. What's important to the loop is that the variables used in the comparison test change to allow the loop to stop. Otherwise, you'll end up with what's called an infinite loop. This is a loop that doesn't stop. And this will crash your computer. If you happen to get into an infinite loop situation, press Control Break on your keyboard to stop the program. In order to change the variable in increments of 1, we've got this line of code here. int b equals int b plus 1. The test comparison happens again. If the return value is true, this line of code will be executed again. In our case, int b equals 1. And the second variable stores the value which it gets from the text box txt a. Let's test our application to see how it works. We'll enter a value of 3 and press test. Here is message box 1. OK, message box 2, message box 3, and now the loop ends. Basically, after step 3, the comparison statement returned a value of 4, and as a result, the loop terminated. Let's enter another line of code here. It'll be LBL result. Oops, let me go fix my typo. Select from the drop down menu tab caption equals int b. Now the label will display the value which integer b stores every time the loop is executed. Let's run our program again. We'll enter a value of 5. Test. Test. You see that the value changes every time I hit the OK button. And this concludes tutorial on the while loop.